Welcome to the channel called CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we'll be looking at how do we find our AutoCAD drawings. So the first thing you need to do is open your AutoCAD software. Once you open the AutoCAD software, you can see this page, which is a start page right here. And so if you are in a page like, if you're on a page like this, which is a different tab, what you could do, you could come back to the start menu if you're in a different drawing tab. You can come back to the start uh, menu. Then you can scroll through to see if you can identify any of the drawings that you did recently. So these would be your, rec these would be your recent drawings and you can sort it by last, file that was open or you can choose by the file name good so under the file name you would under under the recent um category you can sort it by the file name so here i have workspace setup i have third angle projection i have test i have spring with logo spring sample etc so if you change it to last opening, you will get the last drawing that you were that you was working on in your AutoCAD software. So this one that I have here that says part sheet assembly, it was open yesterday, while this one was open sometime after, like um Sunday. Okay. So the, the those are the two ways that you can find the recent. Good. Another way you can find it is you can come up to here and you open the folder, right? Then you can type in the file name um, that you had. So for example, if the drawing name was Helix, you would type in Helix and press enter and it would open it if you knew the, the name of the drawing, okay? All right, another way you can find your drawing is by coming up to here, dropping the down, this drop down arrow, and here you have, um, you would have the list of recent documents that you opened, right? With the current one being at the top, right? So here I have one labeled um, shoebox that was a long, long time ago, but the one that is at the top, here it says Pachi bracket assembly, right? Now, you can have an ordered list. You can have large icons or small icons. There it is. Or you can drop down. You can access by date. Good. You can access by size of the file. So if you knew it was a large file, you could actually um, search for it like that. You could access it by file type, right? So that is in recent, right? You could also go into open, right? You open drawing. And again, you would type in the file name. Now, also on this side of the tab, right? You could also go into search, all right? So you can search maybe um, shoebox. Remember I told you about um, shoebox, right? Here it is, shoebox, and there is a drawing here. So I can click on it and open it, and here is my shoebox drawing, okay? So I can come back to my start, and if I go to recent, can you guess what is the recent file that will be in there? It will be the shoebox because that was the recent file. So let me close this and show you. So we'll close that and see, here is a shoebox. So remember when I came up here, I dropped down this down arrow, the shoebox was last in the list, right? But because I open it now, it will be in the recent category, right? So those are some of the ways that you can find 
your AutoCAD drawing, right? So you can either, again, come here. You can come here and you can choose. Um, you can use an ordered list. You can use a date access. That's the date when you open it, the last date. By size, if you're doing a large file, then you know the largest file would be that document, right? And you can also preview here, right? So there, if you um, scroll down, so I'm looking through my recent documents based on the size of the file, right? So if I come down, I can actually get a preview of the different files and you'll be able to find it. Now, if after you go through all of this step, you're still not able to find it, what you can do, let me show you. You can open the file. I'm going to open a file and show you something. All right, let's open this file. All right. So if you look at this file, you'll see that I have one drawing on it. But if you are looking for your drawing, this is another way you can do it. You can drop down this um, drop arrow. You go zoom all, right? And the computer software AutoCAD will display all of the drawings in that file, right? Another way you can access um, this menu, right, is to get your command line. If your command line is not visible, you press control nine. You can actually come here. So let me go back to a different drawing. Let me choose this drawing. All right, so here I have a drawing here that was um, a pers one point perspective drawing. Look, I'm going to type down in the command line, zoom, enter. Then I'm either going to type the word A for all or click on all. And here now, it will display all the drawings that are in this file. Let me go to a different file and show you again. So I'm going to go to a file. Let me go to... Let me go to this one. All right, so here I'm seeing my drawing. I'm going to come down here to zoom all and look now. All of the drawings that are in this file are visible. Let me go to a different one. Let me choose um, this one. Well, all of the files are already um, visible here, but let me do it again. Zoom, enter. I'm going to type A this time for all. Right, so these are all of the files that are in this, um, all of the drawings that are in this file. I'm going go back to start again. Um, let me choose. All right, let me choose this one and show you. All right, so here I have my drawing. I'm going to go to Zoom, Enter, All. And what I mean would show you all the drawings that are on there. Let me choose, let me choose this one. Okay, let me choose this one. See, here I drew this drawing in AutoCAD a few um, days ago. I'm going to do a zoom all. You can type in Z for zoom, press enter, press A for all, and look, all the drawings will be displayed um, on the screen, okay? And how you would know the name of the drawing, the title of the name, the name is up here in the top, okay? So those are the ways that you can actually find your AutoCAD drawing that is saved in your AutoCAD. Uh, software files right so and also you could also go in your you could also go in your um folder and go to where the, you save your autocad file and you could actually open it from there right so you can go to the folder that you search there right you can also come here and choose the day that you, you modified it, right? So on Saturday, I opened this file. 
Well, on Saturday, I did open the file. Well, let me look at on Sunday. So I'm going to click Sunday. No, I didn't open anything on Sunday. Or let me open on Monday. No, or let me go back. Uh, I must have opened. Okay, there on March 30, this is the file that I opened. Okay, so this is another way you can find your file. You go to the folder, and if you have an idea of the date, right, you can choose or. If you just want um, last month, if you just click on it, it will give you all the files that you worked on open last month. If you go click here, last week, you get all the files, AutoCAD files that you opened last week. If you put, er well, earlier this year, I didn't have this software on my new co computer, so they, they, they wouldn't um, have anything last year. So if I unclick this, these are the files which are recently opened, right? So I can uncheck this box. I can select a date um, range, right? So I can choose from March 30 to April 9, right? And um, that is how you would. So April 9 to March 25th. Oh, let me choose here. Right, there are the files that I opened during that time. So you can open it by the date. You can open it by the name. You can open it by the file size, or you can go in the folder that you um, save your documents in, or wherever you saved it, and you can actually look through. If you go in your AutoCAD um, folder, you can actually do a search in that folder. So I'm, I'm gonna search for, so for example, shoebox. I need a space between the shoebox. See, this is a file that I worked on that says shoebox and there it is open, right? So there are different ways. You can go to the folder and do a search or you can search at the start menu. So if I turn search your shoebox, the computer brought up the shoe drawing so I can open it. So I believe I did perspective drawing. So if I type in perspective, I did one point and two point, so the computer would show both the one point perspective files that I opened and the two point perspective um, files. Here's a two point, here's a one point, and these are the different one point and two point drawings that I opened. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that the uh, video was useful. And in today's video, we looked at the different ways in which you can find your AutoCAD software in your folder or on your computer or in your actual AutoCAD file. So in the next drawing, we'll be looking at CAMS. So we look forward to seeing you in the next drawing. So please take care and until we meet again. Bye.